Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to watch another video. You guys are so awesome. Like, you keep just coming, coming back. Like, that is awesome. Today, I will be recreating this look that you see here. I have a very bold eyeliner and red lip tutorial for you guys. If you are interested in seeing how I created this look, then please stay tuned. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. If you guys want more videos, have any ideas that you want me to create, please leave them down below in the comments and I will be sure to do that for you guys. But without further ado, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and set my eyelid with my transition color and I am going to apply this all over just so that my eyelid won't be you know naked under the eyeliner it would have some kind of depth to it I'm going in with my elf liquid eyeliner I'm looking down into a mirror because I have hooded lids and I want the eyeliner to be very open and Spacious, I guess you would say so that I can have enough room to fill it in with the glitter I'm not going to fill in the liner. I'm going to do an outline of a cat eye So I kept the liner right below my original crease. As you can see, my original crease is a little bit further up than the eyeliner. And that's because if I had went all the way up there, it would have been really thick and close off my whole eye. So I did right below the crease. Now I'm taking my Star Glue Eyelash Adhesive and this glue dries clear, it comes out white. I'm gonna do sections at a time, start dabbing that glue in. Now I'm gonna go with my ABH Dual End Brush and I'm gonna start putting the glitter right on top of the glue. And you wanna do this step before you do your face because trust me, you will create a mess that is very hard to clean. <laughs> all right so this is the result of having glitter by the way i got this glitter i don't remember but it came in like four different colors a red a gold a white and a black and you guys can find this i'm sure at your local craft store walmart dollar store somewhere like that it's just creative um art glitter so you can find that anywhere and please be very careful with it um when you are using it that is a disclosure I'm gonna give you guys an up close look on how the glitter turned out. Looks very pretty and in the mirror you can see it like glistening so much. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna come back to the eyes. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the face now. I'm gonna go with my Smashbox Under Eye Primer. And I am using a few Smashbox products today, so I'm ex so I am super excited. So I'm just pushing the product in, dabbing it or patting it into the skin instead of doing a rubbing motion. I'm just really pushing it in so that it can get into those pores. I'm going to go with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, and I'm going to color correct under my eyes. So 
See, it didn't take that much product because the products will carry you guys. If it's a full coverage product, all you have to do is apply a little and when you start blending, it has no choice but to blend the direction that you're blending it in or to blend out. So if you apply just a little and carry that product out, you will be good. You don't need any extra product. After color correcting, I'm going to highlight with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to do the same thing. Just apply the product right along the sides of my nose. If I start putting a triangle and go all the way out here, when I start blending, it's going to go and travel up my face. So if you just put it right here on the sides of your nose and start blending, it will work its way out and you have more control on where you want the product to stop. I literally felt just then my sweat coming out of my sweat glands. It was so weird. Alright, so before I apply my eyelashes, I'm going to go in with my Hard Candy Matte Setting Spray. Love this setting spray. It's really affordable and it works wonders for you guys. It really has your makeup looking flawless and matte all day and I'm just going to drench my face in this. Now to complete the rest of the cheekbone look, I'm going to go in with some blush and I'm going to apply it on the apples of my cheeks. As you can see here, the highlight still kind of travels down kind of far. So to complete the cheekbone effect, you want to add blush on last. on these fashion eyelashes off camera and I'll be right back okay so lashes are on I'm gonna go in and finishing off the look today I'm going with my Nika K bold lip liner and this is a red lip liner this liner is perfect for any red lip <laughs> For my favorite part, the most anticipated part, I'm going in with my Smashbox Liquid Lipstick and this is in the color, I don't know the color, <laughs> it does not say on this tube. If anything that would help you, it's EB6, so if that helps you you guys, I'm so sorry. I thought the color was on here but it's not, which is very weird color really reminds me of Christmas it's a shimmer red color and it has the perfect pigment you guys like this is very beautiful it's like the perfect red with just a shimmer look at that pigment oh it's so beautiful it really reminds me of Christmas isn't that beautiful You guys, look at that lip. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. All right, you guys, this is my finished look. I am so in love with this look. I absolutely adore red lipstick, so any red lipstick I am down to try, and this one is perfect. It doesn't bleed, it doesn't get messy throughout the day, and it has like this luster, like moisture to it, and I just love the Smashbox lipstick. I will find information on this lipstick and put it down below if you guys want to purchase it. I'm sorry that I don't know the name of it, but I will find it I will find it just for you you guys <laughs> well I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial if you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button so don't forget to subscribe you guys are so awesome and I really appreciate all the support I'm almost to my monthly like goal that I've set for myself and I really need you guys help on reaching that monthly goal by subscribing and liking and commenting whatever it is that you feel need to do please do it down below 
I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Please stay tuned. I have some very big news coming up. Cannot wait to share with you guys. And yeah, I will see you very soon.